Hello. Well, I think we are live. Um, welcome to the Center for Rural Affairs Rural Report on February 19th of 2021. I'm here today with Palma Strand, co-founder of Civity. How are you doing, Palma? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing well. I suppose I should introduce myself as well, huh? Uh, my name is Jordan Fireherm, <laughs> uh, Community Development Manager with the Center for Rural Affairs. And today we are going to talk a little bit about Civity. Um, Palma, could you start us off and tell us a little bit about what Civity is? Yeah, Civity is um, is a well. The definition of Civity, which is a word that you you know may not have heard before, but probably sounds like civic and you know city and things like that. Civity is a culture of deliberately engaging with people who are. Um, but with respect and empathy. So it's kind of a way to acknowledge that the people in our community aren't all the same, that they're different and, and to really extend, you know, to ourselves and to other people that sense of, I see you, you know, you're a person with their own, you know, history and, and depths and, and that that's really valuable and important. That sounds really interesting. And Full disclosure, I've had the opportunity to be trained uh, in the Civity method by Palma, and I've done a few workshops myself. Um, so how does uh, how does that work? How is um, how is the Civity method applied in a community? How can uh, someone engage with it? Well, first of all, I have to say I love I love the Civity method because it <laughs> it you know it just makes it sound so. Um, but yeah, so one of the things is that civity, you know, we, we think of relationships as, uh, well, first of all, we think of relationships as like our best friends and our family, but, but when you think about it, relationships are like everybody that we come in contact with, you know, back in the day when we used to go into the coffee shop, it would be the, you know, the person giving us our, our coffee, but also the people that we just encounter at the tables. Uh, next to us and, you know, at the grocery store or, you know, other parents in your kid's school or, or co-workers. And those are all relationships too. And, and because, you know, they're kind of what makes up the community, really focusing on the quality of those relationships really matters. And we can, we can be intentional about, um, about approaching people uh, in a in a way that sort of says I, I you know you're you're a person rather than you know somebody that I'm going to just kind of walk by and 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 ignore and the the civity method is really just um, kind of a series of of practices um, you know little exercises that um, that help us kind of be in that mindset of I see you as another person even though you're not like one of my BFFs um, but also just you know kind of that that like there are, there are just like listening and any kind of habit, um, they're kind of habit forming. And so, you know, we say practice, um, you know, kind of, kind of like a meditation practice, um, but, but more like a relational every day in the community practice. Definitely. And something I really enjoy about Civity is it really builds off the idea of reciprocity because I feel so often when I'm talking with someone, if I just say, hi, my name is Jordan, and leave it at that, the other person I'm talking to is probably going to say, hi, I'm Steve, and you know, you don't really go anything with that. But one thing I found a civity is by really being intentional about, okay, let's really make a connection. I'm going to share a little bit about myself. The other person is likely to respond in kind. Have you found that to be true as well? I have, you know, people are kind of programmed and, and I, I personally am a little bit of an introvert. So I think I started out as kind of hesitant you know, it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in my little shell, but I really have found that, that, you know, if you just, you know, acknowledge people like, um, you know, just make a comment about, you know, for somebody that you just pass on the street, you know, just that hello or, or a comment, you know, whoa, I love that color that you're wearing, you know, for somebody that you're sharing an elevator with back in the days when we shared elevators, um, that that really sort of say you know i i see you and i and i appreciate you and and it it does feel particularly like i say i think for those of us who are introverts it feels a little risky um to kind of put yourself out there and yet what i've found is that the as you say the reciprocity people respond because people are really kind of hungry for connection. And when you offer that connection, and again, it's not like, you know, sharing your deep secrets, but just like, 
wow, you know, we're kind of on this journey wherever we are together. And, and, um, it, and people really do respond. Um, real, people really, really do respond. So putting yourself out there just that little bit. Um, and I find for me kind of naming that like, okay, yeah, this feels a little not like me. Um, so I'm going to make this little investment of risk. Um, but it really, it really comes back, um, you know, multiple, multiple times. Definitely. And back when, again, like you said at the elevator, back when we were able to meet in person, I've led a couple of these um, civ civity workshops. And it's always so fun to get a big room full of people. And then everyone kind of goes off into separate little groups. And just to stand back and listen to all the conversations going on, it, it's pretty incredible. Uh, are there any like favorite moments that you can think of of a, of a civity event to put you on the spot here? Uh, to put me on the spot. Well, you know, I, I, I really do. I mean, I love the buzz and I love the, the fact that, that by being intentional, you can really, you know, invite people into that space of, of, you know, kind of, I think that in many ways, in many contexts, we're kind of, we're kind of socialized and trained to be very compartmentalized, to be very like, you know, I'm just going to not reveal anything of who I really am. And, and, and to create that space, not again, not to go deep, but to just sort of be authentic, be genuine, say, you know, these are other people that I'm working with or, or being with and giving people permission to do that, that, that buzz is so, um, you know, people really welcome it and, and relax into it and kind of revel in it almost. And, and it's something that we all know how to do, but, but I think that we've, we've been so told that, you know, no, that's not, you know, it's like fuzzy or, or not, you know, you need to be kind of buttoned down or stiff upper lip. I don't know, but just, just that, like allowing people to do that. And, and I think the other thing that I would say is that, you know, we do focus on difference. And um, I think people are, you know, like if you meet somebody out, you know, your your first conversation is often trying to find similarities like you know oh i went to you know from the to the same school or for, from the same hometown or we have similar interests you know you're always looking for that commonality and then once you've established that commonality you know you find all kinds of differences that really are what make the relationship rich right i mean if we were all the same life would be pretty dull um but but people are kind of scared of difference you know people are like particularly differences that really are, are, you know, kind of high valence in our society, like gender or, or disability or age or race or ethnicity. And, um, and yet people, you know, and so that kind of blocks people from connecting because there's this like, oh, well, we can't go there because, you know, that's scary or sensitive. And so, so putting those differences on the table in a way that just acknowledges them and, and, and says, you know, yes, we are different, um, allows people to kind of start from difference and then people discover all the similarities because we're all human and we all have those commonalities. Um, so I, that is always really, um, you know, watching people kind of accept that invitation to, um, to, to kind of open up a part of themselves that that is um, often kind of shut down or 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 set aside. Definitely, and that's been that's been my experience as well. It's you can uh, put two people at a table together who may think like, oh, I have nothing and nothing in common with them. How can we ever have a conversation? And then by the end, they're saying we need more time because you set them off in the breakout rooms and mm -hmm. breakout rooms. I'm starting to use the Zoom language now. <laughs> That's right, the Zoom language. <laughs> <laughs> but um, be it in real life or over Zoom, you know, what you what I've seen at least over and over is that people just want more time to talk because once they get started, they're the difference instead of being that scary thing that's like, oh, I don't know how to engage it becomes exactly what they want to engage in because they're finding all these interesting things. It's like, we don't, for example, a big example, but we don't watch movies because to see, you know, something ordinary and the same, we watch movies because we are interested in the, the diversity that's out there in every sense of the word of something new and, and intriguing um, from our own experience as well. Um, and that, 
all this talk about Zoom is kind of the elephant in the room. How have you found that the how Civity has worked since we've all gone remote? Yeah, I mean, it is it is different to connect via Zoom, and yet it is really possible to connect authentically and and genuinely um, through Zoom. You know, I mean, we're having a conversation now, and uh, you know, we have met in person and we've spent time in person, but. You know, this is a real. It's like, oh, it's Jordan. It's a real conversation, and 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 it's the same thing with people meeting each other for the first time, or people who are like in a group together and they're having that kind of conversation for the first time. And actually, one of the things we've noticed, I'm curious as to whether you've noticed this too, is that in a in a breakout room on Zoom, you really you're not like listening to that other conversation and sort of see. You know, you're really really in that conversation with the other person in a very undiluted way. And so in some ways it's a it's actually a little bit more of an intense experience than when you do a one on one kind of, you know, if you're a pair and there's a lot of people in the room around you. No, I've certainly certainly felt the same way. And especially because if you don't have the virtual background, you're kind of inviting someone into your own space yeah. too, which in the way that you know, you get a snapshot of someone that you don't normally get to see. Yeah, it is, it's funny that you say that. I was just mentioning to, to, to my family the other day, um, you know, I think that in the beginning there were, you know, people were, were very, you know, having, <clears throat> creating backgrounds and then they had the sort of the green screen. I don't even know, mm -hmm. I've never figured out that technology. But now I think people are really like, so this is my daughter's high school, you know, bedroom that's been repurposed and yes that's the color that she chose and you know so it's a it's like yeah you are kind of inviting people into your space in a um and and the backgrounds kind of fade away and they become part of the conversation in a um in a really cool way there's what there was one other thing i just want to say about civity that i think is Please. really important because people you know we're so like our country is so divided right now you know polarized and 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 I think it's really important to, to acknowledge that the relationships that we're talking about and that we're focusing on in civity are not like conflict resolution or mm -hmm. about you know issues or points of view or you know who's right or 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 any kind of resolution. That they're really about saying, you know, before you can, we, we sometimes call it the conversation before the conversation, before you can even engage in any of those conversations, you have to be in a certain kind of relationship that says, yes, I, I have my wants and needs and you have wants and needs too. And it's, and it's important for me to just at that very basic level, kind of be in relationship to say, we're really members of this community together. And yeah, we're going to disagree like whatever, but but there's this kind of foundation of of relationship that is that is going to be there that's going to allow us to talk about other things and that is going to kind of maybe help us see our way through to the possibilities that we really would never have have envisioned otherwise. Yeah, thank you for saying that. And I think that's so important because as we as you said, um, it's really easy to kind of miss the person for the beliefs. And it's um, it's really helpful to be able to come to an understanding with somebody if you first see them as a person rather than what you're uh, kind of projecting on them. And I think you're absolutely right that the first step is conversation and understanding what those differences really are. Um, so we're, we're uh, bunching up on time right now, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Well, um, thank you for the work that you do. I mean, it's we're we at Civity are thrilled to 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 know that you and the Center for Rural Affairs are, you know, taking Civity to um, communities around Nebraska. It's been a great tool. We've had a lot of, you know, it's a great thing to be able to offer to communities, and you see people engage with it in so many great ways, and the connections that come out of it, um, not just for myself, but just for people that come. They're finding people that. You know, maybe they've both lived in the same community for 20 years and they've never crossed paths and now all of a sudden they have such a great foundation to start a new friendship or even just a professional relationship this doesn't have to be about making friends it can be just about how do i work better with somebody um, and it really just starts with having that first conversation um, and it's something you can do in your everyday life it's not like another extra thing to do it's just like 
just going through your day a little bit, a little bit differently. Exactly. Well, thank you again. And I just want to say that if anyone watching is curious to practice the Civity method, I will be hosting a Civity uh, workshop on Zoom. So don't worry about having to come in in person on the 23rd of February from 10 to 1130. And you can sign up on CFRA.org slash events. Um, and I hope to see you there. Uh, again, this was Paul Mastrand, co-founder of Civity. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Awesome.